This is a Chucky Beat production. Hey guys, today on Hacksaw Creators, I will be teaching you about the basics of CSS. So CSS basically means cascading style sheets and it is used to add style to your web page now. So if you haven't seen our last video yet, make sure to go ahead and check it out because you will need to know uh, HTML and create an HTML file to apply it to. And if you really want to dive deep into CSS and learn more about it, make sure to head over to beta.hacksaw.academy and you will learn all about website development for only $10 a month. So to begin, first of all, you want to open your HTML document and I have one I made last week for the tutorial on this channel. So as you can see at the moment, this page looks really plain and simple. So to stylize it, first of all, I will need to create a uh, style sheet and then uh, I will need to link it to this HTML file. So to do this, first of all, you want to head into your head tags inside of your HTML file and then you want to type in this. So you want to put in link space rel for relationship equals and then quotation marks and inside of here, we're going to uh, type in style sheet and then space and then this is gonna be href and you're gonna type in the um you're gonna type in the name of your documents mine is gonna be style.css so style.css and then add another space and you would put in type equals text slash css okay not you're really not gonna need this but you can add it um, in case you will need it. So once you have made this, you're going to need to create the style sheet. So go ahead into file uh, and then you want to go ahead into new file. Uh, from here, you want to click on file again, click on save as, and I'm going to save it into the same folder that I have my HTML file in and I'm going to name it style.css. Okay. And I'm going to click on save. Now we have basically linked them together. Now we can begin the CSS. So to begin, let's say I wanted to change the color of the background. And to do this, I will put the body. So I'll type in body space, and then you would use curly brackets and then enter inside. I can uh, put in background color, color. And of course I can use um, red or something like that. But if you really want to, um, uh, if you really want flexibility of adding colors, what you will need to do is you want to go ahead into your web browser, type in HTML color picker, and you have uh, these color pickers, which would give you a hex code. And let's say you wanted a color, so you would basically find a nice color that you would want. Let's say I'm trying to find a good. Uh, color that would go with this website uh, let's go with let's go with this okay so you would copy this hex code or the color code command C on Mac control C on Windows and paste it in here and then you would close it off with a semicolon so if I save this file and save this one too and I go into my HTML website, refresh, as you can see, the background color has changed. And this is called a rule. This is a CSS rule. Uh, and if we break this down, we had a selector. So this is a selector. So we targeted the body, meaning the whole uh, body of this website. And then we had a declaration inside of the brackets. So you had a property and a value that added up to make a declaration. So the property is what you want to affect. So let's say you wanted to change the font, you would put in font family, you want to change the color, you would put in a uh, background color and stuff like that. So right now, let's say I'm happy with the website, but let's say I wanted to change the font or the color or the color of the font. So in that case, I would press enter and we have different text for different parts of the website. So you had a paragraph text. We have a um, we have a header text and then you have the list text. So to do this, first of all, I'm going to show you with the header. So H1, right? 
and then you would add your curly brackets enter and inside you would need to add uh, the property and the value so let's say we wanted to make it white so that would be color uh, and then white okay command s and refresh and as you can see this is white and let's say we wanted to change the font into something more simplistic simplistic and modern so press enter and you would go ahead and put in font family um, font family and then I'll change it to a good font so I'm gonna go with the railway I really like that font so rail way and make sure you have the fonts installed on your computer or it's not gonna work and command s so you want to close it off with a semicolon and you separate the value and the property with a colon uh, that's really simple so command s to save on Mac control s on Windows refresh and as you can see the uh, the font has changed but I wanted to, let's say I wanted to do this for the whole text everything on this website and but I didn't want to go ahead and edit every single text uh, meaning I wouldn't I don't want to make a I don't want to make a rule for every single element on this website like the paragraph the list and everything like that so we can group uh, elements that's like the power of CSS and that's really cool so h1 so we did it for the title and now we can do it for the paragraph and the list and everything without actually making a new one for each one so how you do that is you can just use commas after the element type in p for paragraph and then you have h3 for the list heading and then you have the unordered list and then you have the ordered list so if i command s to save this this would be applied to all of the other elements on the website. So as you can see, it has applied it to everything on the website. And that is one thing you can do. You can group elements so you don't have to do it again and again. But if you wanted to do separately and add separate properties and values to each one, you could have done that too. Uh, but basically, this would uh, save you a lot of time. So moving on, you have another type of selector which is called a, an ID selector and to use an ID selector it's really easy uh, what you want to do is you want to head into your HTML file so as you can see I have a paragraph right here and let's say I only wanted to affect this area and nothing else if you just use a P tag using an element selector then it would affect every paragraph on your website so and that's not good but if you want to be specific about one part what you can do is you want to go ahead and let's say 22 right so I'll go enter so under P you press enter and I'm gonna wrap this with um div for division or section and then space ID equals and then you would use quotation marks and inside you can put in any uh, name that you want to use so I'll use um let's say um, intro intro for this and you would use it with a you would close it with a uh, greater than sign come under this text come under what you want to wrap uh, and then you can close it with a forward slash and a div okay now command s to save this and you can go ahead into your style.css now since i have showed you elements uh, selectors these are basically element selectors you would be basically targeting an element and that element would um, um, would be changed now i'm going to show you an id id selector so an id selector uh, once you have done the div part in um, html what you want to do is you want to come into here use a hash and then type in whatever you put in to this in this quotation mark so for me it was intro so i'll put in intro and then just like we did for the first one you can use a curly bracket and inside of here i'm gonna add uh let's say we wanted to change the background of color of this paragraph to uh let's say black so uh background color and we can change this to black Okay, and you would close it off with a semicolon. So command S to save and refresh this page. And as you can see, 
only that part is affected and if we used an element selector and used p instead every paragraph on the page would have been affected um and that's really basic and uh, another kind of selector you have is you have a class selector. This is uh, kind of similar, but different in a way. So to do this, you would want to go ahead into uh, one of your tags. So I'm going to use the P tag on the first paragraph and I'm going to put in space. So to do this class equals, and then you would use quotation marks and type in anything you want. In my case, I'll put in, uh, let's say, I'm just gonna use, um, let's say hacksaw, okay? I used hacksaw, so you would go over into your style sheet and for the class selector, so instead of using a hash, you would use a uh, dot, so, or a period, and then you would type in the name. So I used hacksaw, okay, space, and then I would use this, um, I would use the curly brackets and inside, I can uh, basically put in declarations to affect how it looks. So for the second paragraph, let's say I wanted a background that is uh, gray. So I, I would put in um, background color and I would put in gray and command S to save and refresh the page. And as you can see, the background color has changed. And that is basically it for this video. This is really basic uh, selectors and everything like that in CSS. If you want to learn more, again, as I said at the start of this video, make sure to go ahead over to Hacksaw Academy to learn more. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.